Y'all, today we finally have closure on a case of a missing girl that gripped the nation all the way back in 2005. Right, Natalie Holloway was an 18-year-old girl from Alabama who had just graduated from high school and went on a trip to Aruba to celebrate. But when she never showed up for her flight home, a chaperone called her mother and the search for this missing girl began. With Natalie having last been seen leaving a nightclub with three men, including a Dutch citizen named Joran van der Sloot. And notably, when he was interrogated, he changed his story several times, first saying they dropped her off at a hotel, then claiming one of them raped her at a beach. And she was arrested multiple times over the coming years, but Ultimately, he was let go by Aruban authorities due to a lack of direct evidence. Though he was later given a 28-year prison sentence in Peru for the murder of another woman there in 2010, where he remained until this last June because Peruvian authorities allowed his temporary release to the U.S. to face charges for extortion and wire fraud. Right, and those charges relating to an offer he made in 2010 to sell information on the location of Natalie's remains for $250,000. Right, and so he ended up pleading guilty to that, but as part of the plea deal, he agreed to finally disclose where and how Natalie died. With him finally giving his confession to her murder today, bringing this nearly two-decade-long tragedy to a close.